Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and most exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today, backed acquires RCG, HSBC processes $250 billion in Forex trades using blockchain, Russia allegedly invests $10 billion US dollars in Bitcoin. Stay tuned for more, I'm your host Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. Backed, a physically settled Bitcoin futures exchange developed by the New York Stock Exchange, has acquired certain assets belonging to the Rosenthal Collins Group, or RCG, an independent futures commission merchant. According to a medium post of Kelly Loeffler, the CEO of Backed, Backed has decided to acquire certain assets and employees required for the development of the Backed platform. The CEO wrote that this would allow the platform to enhance risk management and treasury operations while also boosting regulatory compliance, KYC AML compliance, and customer services. With the current shutdown of the US government, the CFTC has not been operating at its usual pace, which has delayed the approval of BACT. In response to this, Kelly Loeffler stated that BACT would not stand still as they await the approval from the CFTC. She concluded that the acquisition held during this waiting period would help bring the firm closer to their vision of bringing digital assets into mainstream. HSBC, one of the world's largest banking giants, has reported that it has settled $250 billion worth of Forex trades using blockchain. Last February, HSBC announced the launch of FX Everywhere, the firm's blockchain-based trading platform. It was previously stated that the introduction of FX Everywhere would facilitate thousands of foreign exchange transactions across its global branches. The Financial Times quoted Richard Bibby, the global head of currencies, stating that FX Everywhere uses distributed ledger technology to drastically increase the efficiency of internal flows. And Reuters just confirmed that HSBC Bank settled $250 billion worth of Forex trades using the FX Everywhere last year. The article claims that the bank has settled over 3 million Forex trades and made over 150,000 payments since last February. While $250 billion is indeed an impressive amount, the bank did not comment on the proportion of transactions settled in blockchain-based trades. However, it seems blockchain technology is finally gaining some traction in the traditional industry. A report has revealed that Russia may be considering a shift to Bitcoin to minimize the impact of U.S. sanctions on the Russian economy. Last week, Mickey, a cryptocurrency media outlet, reported that one of its reporters had spoken with a high-profile Russian economist who stated that the Russian government could begin investing in Bitcoin. Vladislav Ginko, a lecturer at Moscow's Russian Presidential Academy of National Economy and Public Administration, claimed that the Russian government may use Bitcoin to mitigate sanctions imposed on Russia by the United States. Following these comments, a number of media outlets decided to look into this a little bit more. One media portal reported that the Russian government has already invested an equivalent of 10 billion US dollars in Bitcoin. However, it was later found that no official statement have been made to support this claim. It goes without saying that the government of a large economy like Russia investing in Bitcoin would be good news for the crypto industry. But until an official announcement is made, this may well be speculation. Bitmain, a mining giant based in Hong Kong, may be putting its glory days behind as it sets to close yet another branch in the Netherlands. According to Coindesk, the spokesperson of Bitmain stated that the decision to shut down its Amsterdam operation has already been made and the process is underway. To quote, as we build a long-term sustainable and scalable business, we are making adjustments to our staff and operation, which includes the decision to close our Amsterdam and Israel offices. Last December, Bitmain confirmed the closure of its Israel office, laying off more than 20 staff members. And just last Thursday, the firm also reported to have ceased its mining operations in Texas. Token Post Daily News reported last December of a potential 50% employee layoff from Bitmain. While Bitmain officials have not commented on the company's layoff, it seems clear that Bitmain continues to downsize. And finally, a number of companies in the news industry and blockchain startups are teaming up to develop an open-source publishing platform for news organizations. Dubbed Newspack by WordPress.com, 
The cloud-based platform is developed by Automatic, the parent company of WordPress.com, and funded by, among others, Consensus and the Google News Initiative. Newsback wants to introduce a cost-effective solution, tailored to small to medium-sized publishers by developing a publisher-dedicated content management system incorporating a handful of publisher-specific plugins from thousands of more general plugins already available on WordPress.com. One of its first partners will be Civil, a journalism startup which refers to itself as a community-owned journalism network. When Newspack is launched, Civil's on-chain solution for blockchain-based publishing will be made available via a WordPress plugin. The plugin will allow onboarding publishers to issue their own crypto tokens. It will also give newsrooms the option of logging high-value news items to the Ethereum blockchain. Newspack represents just one of several journalism startups like the Civil Media Company and the Asia-based Publish Incorporated, which seeks to restore financial viability among newspaper newsrooms by incorporating blockchain technology into its platform. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.